The survivorship guidelines that have been used typically by the international community were last published in 2012. And so we knew it was time after a decade to update some of the key recommendations for taking care of transplant survivors. And that population continues to grow over time with the advancements that we've made in transplant and supportive cares. So we decided for this version of the survivorship guidelines to include 11 different international organizations and coming up with a consensus for what we would recommend for caring for these patients. And so we ended up modifying a number of different things and adding a number of different sections to the actual guidelines. Um, one of the things that we added were um, recommendations for caring for patients with hematologic complications. We also extensively expanded on our recommendations for psychosocial care for these patients following transplant. And one of the key things we also did was include patient advocates in coming up with our consensus recommendations. And that's really just created a more broad perspective and deep perspective on what these patients actually need in their survivorship journey.